Hey everyone, Paint with Rick. Today I'm going to do a landscape on a 16 by 20. I have a, a layer of uh, white, titanium white on the canvas. So if you're if you're a Bob Ross painter, just use your liquid white. Or if you're uh, that other guy that sells it, he uses magic white. <laughs> I don't know that other guy's name. But I just use uh, titanium white. And uh, I use my, uh, just my uh, hardware brushes, bristle brushes. Let's get started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill in all the color first. It's going to be a cool one, okay? We're going we're gonna to paint on the fly. I'm going to do a dark sky. Imagine where the mountain will be. Then I'm going to lay in maybe a river and some groundwork, all that first, and then uh start blending away and putting in some cool stuff so let's concentrate on the sky first so since we already have paint on the canvas we can just grab a little bit on your brush and throw some paint up here okay let's i'm going to do a bunch of different colors that, that was blue right uh, brilliant blue. I'm going to grab a little bit with the same brush, some uh, purple. Put some purple in the sky here. Just kind of blend it in wherever you think. I'm going to put a little Payne's Gray now, maybe up in the corner. So we got a dark corner up there. Maybe a little Payne's gray over here, a hint of gray, uh, and maybe a little bit more blue down here at the bottom. Very good. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to blend it in because I want to put clouds on that, okay? I'm trying to keep it wet, so... Uh, and if, we, if I need to make things a little more brilliant, we can add in blue later on to make the parts of the sky brighter, okay? Let's move down here to this part of the painting. Uh, I'm going to lay my water in with uh, blue for now, and I'll probably lighten it up. I'm thinking I want to have a river, like, curving down like that okay so we're gonna have it's gonna get smaller back here and then we'll get larger as we come down here to the bottom so just kind of lay in a some blue like that it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, we can always lay in the river wherever we need it when we're done I just want to know where to put my uh, grass and stuff now. All right, that's going to be a river eventually. So I have a mountain in here. Let me start in the back. I'm actually going to put some Payne's Gray on the same brush with the blue. Put some Payne's Gray down here. I'm going to grab a little light yellow ochre. I have some yellow ochre, but I put yellow in it to lighten it up, so I want to have light colors in the back here. And as we come forward, I got uh, some Venetian red. We're going to mix all these colors together, okay? Venetian red. And then I have some burnt umber to get as we get closer here okay darken it up a bit burnt umber and then all the rest you know we'll put in bushes and trees here and there I just want to get some color laid in there just like that okay so there's our color got a cool river let's see how it's looking so far 
Wow, doesn't look like much, but I guarantee you it's going to turn into something. <laughs> Let's do some clouds real quick, okay? Uh, grab a brush, and we're going to dip into our linseed oil and fill the brush up with titanium white. I'm going to put some, uh, start at the top and put a huge cloud up top here, okay? A huge cloud. Really push that white into the canvas there, okay? And then I'm going to have a mountain here, so I'm going to run a cloud kind of coming up sideways like this. I'm just basically stamping in what would be the top of the cloud. Just like that. I'll leave that corner like that. That's good enough for now. With, wipe that same brush off now and come in here and let's uh, either pull this down. You could either pull it to make it look like it's blowing or you can stamp it into the color below. Try and leave the top part untouched, okay? I'm going to pull this one as well. I want it to be bigger. I want it to look like it's blowing. So today I'm going to pull the color. This one I'll pull uh, to the left. Get it to mix with that purple there, okay? We'll make it look like the sky is moving today. So we'll pull these clouds. Very good. Now let's get a blender brush. I'm going to use a brand new one today. And uh, let's lightly come in here and blend the lower part of these clouds. Blend the sky as well because we, we never blended the sky. So we got to blend the sky too. So lightly hit your clouds. Lightly blend it. Keep wiping your brush off and start blending even the parts of your sky here down below. Let's blend this corner out. It looks cool. I like that. I'm going to come in here and now stamp the edge of my cloud to give it a nice finished edge on it. It's really wet, but it still looks cool, you know. There we go. Let's see how that looks in the frame. Wow. That is a really cool, wicked sky. Now, if you, if you want to take a look here, you can keep blending your sky, but... You see how I put that little gray here? So this cloud has a little gray in it here. We got purple here, purple sky here, uh, some blue, bluest, blue stuff here. It looks pretty cool. And I have gray up in this corner. So we got some contrast going on. Wow. So you can tell this part looks finished now. This part not so finished. <laughs> This is a fun way to paint because uh, you won't know what it looks like till you blend it out, okay? Let's put a mountain in here, maybe off to the left here. I don't want to mess these clouds up, so I'm going to put a mountain more to the left. Maybe not so tall today. I'm using black, okay? Now grab a... Uh, Grab a brush and come up here at the top and pull your mountain down, okay? Shape the mountain. Pull it down and then shape it. I have like a short mountain today, small mountain. Because we got such a cool sky. 
I'll take your brush and uh, lightly blend the mountain in a little bit down here. Blend those colors in. I'll put a lot of maybe snow just at the peaks today, okay? Make it look a little different than I usually do it. So I'm going to grab some titanium white. And what I'm going to do is pull the snow straight down, okay? Pull it straight down. I'll show you an easy way to do this. There's your snow. Just pull it straight down. Now mix a little bit of uh, blue, purple, and white. That's going to be our uh, shade color. Blue, purple, and white. Try and get it really light though, not, not too bright. We want it close, close to white. Okay, we just want it to have a little bit of color. Not really a bright blue, but a, a very light blue. Now let's pull some of this color to the left. Wherever you have snow up there, pull your knife to the left. Okay, and just get loose with it. Doesn't have to be perfect because you can leave uh, some of this gray color in there if you want. Just pull it to the left right where your snow ends. Doesn't that look cool? You see what that looks like. That looks pretty cool. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is blend out the bottom. So wherever I put the blue, I'm going to pull it a little bit to the left. The blue and the white, I'm going to kind of pull it down a little bit into the blue. And now I'm going to lightly blend this lower portion of the mountain. Okay, lightly blend it. Wow, that looks pretty wicked. I really like that. I'm going to uh, run some distant trees now. Uh, I'm trying to think of what brush to use here. I'm going to use uh, a fan brush, okay? First, what I want to do is uh, let's blend this this ground in here, okay? Where the yellow. Let's blend all these colors in by the mountain. Let's get a light blend on these colors. Because I'm going to start putting things over it now. Let's blend this ground in. You can blend it all in different ways. Get those colors to blend together over here get those colors to mix together just blend it in all right let's run some trees here now i'm going to use a fan brush i got a uh, my typical sap green i'm going to use with a little black in it just to lay out some trees so if I got a river coming here, let's uh, let's stamp some blue trees coming down. Do do. Let's run some distant trees first in the back. Very small trees way back here at the bottom of the mountain. Okay, just stamp it in. Very small. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go all the way to about here. Very good. Now with your, uh, take your brush, wipe it off, and with the corner of the brush, come in here and pull up. Pull up on those trees, not too, too much. But make sure you use the corner of the brush. Now let's, uh, we can make some spots a little higher so it doesn't look straight across, okay? Just like that. All right, there's our distant trees. Now with your brush at the bottom, come in here and pull some of the color to the left and then kind of pull it down a little bit to create some hills back there. You see that? See the hills? Very good. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my main trees over here. So I'm going to grab some, uh, a one inch brush and get some of the sap green and black and uh, I'm gonna create a bush down here. Okay. I want these trees to be pretty big here coming from uh, these bushes here. Now we'll do something else over here. So now I'm gonna use a number, a brand new number six fan brush. So I'm gonna dip, get my brush wet with the linseed oil and grab my uh, sap green and black color. Fill it up. Let's do a, let's do one tree first. I want it really tall. Stamp it in a little bit and then pull it, pull it straight down to these bushes, okay? Now, get a little more linseed oil on there and get some more paint. And now we're going to design this tree and I'm going to stamp the branches straight out pretty much. I'm kind of using the corner of the brush. And I'm going to design this tree very slowly. I'm not going to go fast. I'm going to really pick my branches and make it make them come out and look cool. Okay. Let me load my brush up again. Take your time when you do this. Just use the corner and stamp out your branches. And just imagine... A nice tree right there and get wider at the bottom I like the I like to come down first and then look at it and see if I need anything else and I want this a low another lower branch to come way over here okay and since it's right on the edge I'm gonna fill in my lower part just a little because I like the tree at the bottom to be full when I highlight it It'll look cool, okay? That looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks in the frame. Wow, that's pretty good. I really like that. I think I'm just going to leave it as one tree over there. So let's do this over here. Let's just use the same fan brush. You can use any fan brush you got. If you got a number four, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's run some... Uh, bushes right from about here just stamp them in bring them down to the water just like that now I'm gonna run a few trees uh, off these bushes right on the edge here I'm gonna make these really tall but skinny I'm going to use the corner of my brush and stay on my trunk and just stamp right in the middle 
and bring it down staying in the middle get wider at the bottom okay it's a different style tree it's more filled in okay than that one let's put one next to it a little smaller same thing stay on your trunk and then just stamp it out get wider at the bottom and I'm going to highlight those so it'll look cool. That looks pretty good. Now, same thing here with your bushes. Uh, just pull out some color to the left here. We'll make it look like there's uh, some hills in there. Okay. With this color down here, just uh, take your brush and pull it to the left, right. Pull these bushes to the right. We'll put some grass down here. It's looking pretty good. Let's see what the time is. 21 minutes. So I think that's all I'm going to do with the, the trees. we got to finish up the water now. So what I'm going to do is line my water with a knife don't be afraid of the knife if you uh, haven't used the knife yet you got to get used to it get a roll on your knife and watch how i'm going to just line the edge of the water and i'm going to bring it all the way down and around get some more on it right here down the edge I just kind of wiggle it and it makes it uh it'll make it look like uh water's running down the river. You see that? There's the edge there. We'll put an edge over here as well. I'm uh painting loose. I don't want it to be uh perfect. People, people are going to know that that's water, so you don't have to try too hard. I really like that. That looks good. What I want to do now is uh, I'm going to get my one-inch brush with some sap green and black, and I want to make these bushes just a little bigger. Okay, I want to make these bushes a little bigger, and then I'm going to highlight them. Just let the brush create the edge of the bush, okay? I'm going to highlight these bushes with Venetian red now. So with the same brush, just wipe it off, dip into your linseed oil, and get Venetian red or you can use orange ochre or put a little red in some yellow ochre but what I'm going to do is stamp the top of these bushes with this reddish color it's going to make them look cool just like that you see how I separated the bushes here and uh I leave the bottom the original color, okay? Dark. Doesn't that look cool? Let's do the same thing over here with the same color. Um, we'll uh, start here at the, the top, stamp in this red ochre, or yeah, red ochre, or Venetian red, and create one bush at a time okay very good it looks good i'm going to put a little wipe my brush off and put a little bit of titanium white on my brush now and kind of put some flowers in here on top of these bushes 
white flowers. Very good. Video. I'm going to highlight those uh, trees over there. I'm going to have to use white as well. I don't have my Viridian green out. So what I'm going to do is just stamp titanium white. Stamp it right into the tree just on the right side. Okay. You don't need much white. This might have been too much, but I'm going to stamp it into the uh, sap green and black. Okay. You can highlight uh, this tree a little bit if you want. It looks like it's already pretty highlighted, but you can come in here and hit it some more and make it look like it has more branches with uh, this titanium white, okay? Just like that. All right, guys, that's about uh, all I'm going to do. Let me run a few birds up in the sky there with the liner brush. And then I'll try and put some twigs. Put a few birds. Looks good. I'm not going to run too many twigs, but uh, if you end up doing this uh, picture, run some twigs off uh, from the bushes here, okay? Just get your your color wet like ink and just wiggle wiggle your branches, okay? But it, it'll make it look really cool if you got some uh, branches around the trees and stuff, even out here. Just take your time, create. You can even pull the color from these bushes and make them just like that. Pull the color on top of the bush and create some twigs. Okay, just like that. That's all I'm going to do. It <laughs> came out pretty good. I'm going to try and... Uh, lighten up back here a little bit with some titanium white to make those look further back but i think it's light enough so i'm just going to leave it there you go guys give that one a try if you like it and uh it's a nice layout you got a river cool mountain I'm trying to keep the glare off of it Nice purple sky. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.